My name is Tomasa Santoyo and I am running for president. So to me, healthcare is a basic human right um, and no one should be denied treatment due to inability to pay. Um, or legal status. This is the issue that I am attempting to fix by making medical care accessible to all people in the United States, whether or not they are citizens, those with modest incomes and those who are new to the country are my target audience. As a first generation Latina, I grew up in a very low socioeconomic neighborhood and I saw a lot of people from my community have to choose between paying for the medical expenses or paying for the rent. This should not be an issue when we live in such a wealthy country who can afford basic human necessities. My proposal for fixing this issue is to study the systems of countries that have already passed universal legislation. Places like Denmark, France, and Canada have a very well organized healthcare system. So we can model our own system after theirs and test it out in a state like Texas. Then state by state, we can ensure that everyone has access to quality healthcare at no cost. Then state by state, we can ensure that everyone has access to quality health care at no cost to them. This is not a political issue. This is a humanity matter and we all need to care for each other so that no one is left behind. We all contribute to the American dream so we must all work together to keep that dream alive. I ask today that you vote for me for president so that we can all work together to make America a just and equal country. Thank you for your time and I will see you in the election. And like I always say, let's make America united again. We are done with division. Let's work together to make this place a better place for all human beings, regardless of background, ethnicity. We must all work together to keep this grand nation afloat because we all give something. We all have something to give and we must all work together to make sure that all of us are just and equal to each other. In my strategy to reach out to voters, minorities, and the elderly are my primary targets. This is because historically, underrepresented groups have been less likely to cast ballots, and I'm also hoping that my efforts to engage this demographic will win the election. I'm also hoping that my outreach to the elderly will help me do well at the polls, since this demographic has shown a propensity to cast ballots the younger generations. By using social media platforms, I want to not only find individual volunteers, but also to get the support of a group organization that shares my beliefs. Volunteers are essential to the success of my campaign and need to make sure that I recruit individuals who share my ideal beliefs to make America united again. To boost my campaign's profile and the ability to organize and raise money, I plan to contact unions and community members members for endorsements. I also planned my efforts to finding influential groups and individuals in the areas where my campaign will be active in order to get their support as a top priority when recruiting volunteers. I will try to go to low socioeconomic neighborhoods as well as the suburbs of America because Latinos are the nation's largest minority group and among its fastest growing populations. I will look at the Pew Research data that has the highest Hispanic populations. So upon my research, I will find districts and do my canvassing based on the populations that um, have similar ideals to mine and have a large Hispanic demographic. 
States such as California, Texas, New Mexico will be my main emphasis um, as they have the greatest um, Hispanic demographic. One of my aims is to improve voter participation via personal introductions and explanations of my agendas delivered through door-to-door canvassing. I also want to visit the suburbs where many of American baby boomers um, live to make sure that I have connections. To get more young people interested in politics, I want to use social media, the power of TikTok's influence on young adults and men. So I plan to reach millennials and Gen Z by engaging with them in that platform as well as Instagram. I also noticed that the older generations are on Facebook, so I will go ahead and engage with them there. I aim to do door-to-door canvassing twice a week, as well as make phone calls. As for social media, I plan on posting every day because there is power in regular content to reach a broader audience. I will be using my budget to go to schools and towns and host presidential campaign rallies all over the United States and to try to win my constituents. I will also spend a lot of that on door-to-door tour campaigns. Some of my outreach activities will include television ads to promote my values and principles and sway the public to vote for me. Um, I will also have mail ads to get people to recognize my name, social media ads to try to win over the younger generation. And lastly, I would really like to spend some money on the taking care of my staff and their expenses um, since I will be having a team helping me with my campaign.